Thank you for tuning into another episode of Texas Street Stories, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Today's episode will be talking about the rise and fall of the Tri-City Bombers. This story was told to me by one of my subscribers. This story will be told in a few episodes. How a street gang from the border towns of Far Rio Grande, Alamo San Juan were able to flourish into almost becoming a powerful organization. The Tri-City Bombers take their name from the Tri-City area of Far, San Juan and Alamo in the Rio Grande Valley. The cities are in Hidalgo County, on the Mexico border. Hidalgo County contains major drug smuggling conduits controlled by Mexican drug cartels. In the early 1980s, young men from Lopezville, Texas, a small, predominantly Hispanic area in the South Texas border area, formed a street football team called the Lopezville Bombers. At the same time, young men from the nearby town of Far, Texas, formed a breakdancing group called the Tri-City Poppers. According to the superseding indictment returned by a grand jury on March 30th and unsealed Friday. In the mid-1980s, the Lopezville Bombers and Tri-City Poppers merged and became the Tri-City Bombers. In the early days of its formation, the Tri-City Bombers would mostly gather and associate for the purpose of playing pickup football games against teams from various nearby over the years. The football games ended more and more frequently in brawls, and the Tri-City Bombers became known to local police as a tough crew. The group became an official gang in the late 1980s, allegedly adopting a leadership hierarchy in black and red colors, with some members getting tattoos of the gang's initials and cherry bombs. The rules of the Tri-City Bombers included, among others, membership for life, brotherhood before anything else, never cooperate with law enforcement, obey orders of superiors, pay a monthly fee to the enterprise, give 10% of any criminal earnings to the enterprise and never disrespect the Tri-City Bombers family, the indictment states. The consequences for violating the rules included severe beating known as a disciplina, discipline, to being ex out, marked for murder. The Hidalgo brothers, Rolando Cruz, Gerardo Boxer Gutierrez, Jeffrey Dragon Juarez, Mike Bueno, were the first juveniles with the popper. The president of the Tri-City Bombers were original members of the Tri-City Bombers. The Tri-City Bombers were able to flourish and recruit in the confinement of Texas Youth Commission at Evans Hall. Their numbers were growing by force, get down or lay down. Sir 13, North 14, Latin Kings were no match, so most joined out of fear. The started to control Rio Grande to Brownsville. They were on their way to become a dangerous organization. When they hit the Texas prisons, they were told from the Texas syndicate that their street gang did not run inside the Texas prisons if they wanted to exist. They had aligned themselves with the Texas syndicate. 